have God's love, which is perfect, unlimited, and bountiful. We can say boundless, unconditional love of God, very constant and enduring. The love that we hear in the second reading captures us. Being captured by the love of God is the beginning of what we're doing now. All of, all of us, of course, have been called to be moved, to be captured, or even to be touched by the love of God. The love that touched our saints, our holy founders, Saint Francis and Claire. The love that moves Saint Paul to follow Christ and to forsake everything. Saint Paul speaks about the love that has been poured into our hearts. The love that can make one to make a decisive decision, though maybe unpopular, it's the love of God. We can all bear with me that without this enduring love of God in us, we cannot even go far in our choices. We need to be captured, not once, but always, we have a task to respond to this love of God, all of us as Christians. So the one 